Can you hear it? Great. So this was a great idea. Not a lot of kids get to do this. If you can't do good at school, then you can't ride. So then I was like, okay. The program is wonderful. These were hardcore gang members. One day I got a call from from the Northeast YMCA. The artwork and the fancy dancy and all of this doesn't work in their world because you don't understand their world. And he asked if Honda would donate some motorcycles. So we gave them 15 uh, mini bikes. He felt depressed and he felt lonely and I didn't know what to do. I saw this uh, web page with a lot of pictures of kids riding bikes and fishing and doing a lot of stuff. And I said, why not? Why not? NIPM is an incentive-based, strength-based uh, type program across the country. And many of the kids are, are like on the fringe or, or disenfranchised. Once a child gets into trouble, is incarcerated, or is in the juvenile justice system, the challenge to change their behavior becomes much harder. We're reaching the kids before they get into any serious trouble. The point, I was at a point where I didn't like school because of all the pressure, the teachers. Initially, they're recruited by um, teachers and uh, school counselors. Uh, they call us and they say that we have a couple of kids that we'd like to refer to your program because they're having issues at school. The encouragement from from everybody, I started going up and up, and my other grades, they went up from Ds and Fs to um, As and Bs. So this year, I had four As, three Bs, and one C. Members of my family have been intimately involved with the organization from its founding. Um, uh, one of the highlights of that has been their affiliation with the National Youth Project using mini bikes. So we agreed to roll it out nationally, and uh, Honda made the commitment to donate 10,000 mini bikes. What's really important is each of the individual sites where you've got these volunteers that work directly with children and engage the kids and really help them understand what they're capable of. At first we do a, a workbook with them, and then they're like, okay, when are we gonna get to writing? And as soon as they start writing, it sky's the limit. They straight out, want, they never wanna leave. And then when we tell them, okay, now you gotta take you off and actually you know, help you out with school, they're like, but why? <laughs> this helped me really a lot, like, focus. Like, I had something to like work for, so I could like keep staying on this program. And I like seeing their expressions while they're out there writing, and them coming in, being like, did you see that? Did you see me? Like, I was so cool, huh? Like Jose and Marissa, like basically on my second parents. I thought he was not going to graduate, and last week he graduates. That's what this is really all about. As great as a dirt bike is, it's about the curveballs that life can throw at you and how you can still achieve through it. Mr. Honda was actually directly involved in the uh, formation of NIPM. When he foresaw it, it was how do we make a society better? My own calculations of how many years have been programmed and whatever, I'm confident that it's a quad of a million kids that have been reached in 50 years. That would be accurate. Yeah. About 325,000. Come check it out. Come see it. Take a look on a child's face when they get a chance to actually jump on a mini bike and ride around a track for an afternoon. I didn't think I'd be a part of anything really big, but being part of this is great. You get the breeze in your hair and you come out with all this dust and dirt all over and it's, it's the best. That's the NIPM program, the National Youth Project using mini bikes. What do you think about that? It's pretty cool. I mean, it, it, anything to get them to do well in school is, uh, and then keep them out of trouble and give them something to look forward to. Hmm. It's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, so we're really trying to turn the nation's attention, nation of riders' attention to young people to help them reach their full potential. And that's one of the programs that we're looking to promote and uh, 
get funded so that we can uh, get it moving forward. 